The Greedy Milkman Once upon a time, in a small village, lived Henry and his wife, Gloria. Henry was a milkman. Together, the husband and the wife owned a cow shed. The couple used to take care of all their cows. They fed them good hay and nursed them well. Due to this, all of Henry's cows would produce excellent quality of milk. Everybody in the village would only buy milk from Henry. Henry and Gloria earned well and led a good life. But despite of that, Henry was not happy. He always dreamt of buying a big house and expensive clothes. I saw a big house on the outskirts of our village. We should buy that. We can get a very expensive car and many servants to serve us. We will wear the most expensive clothes and all these poor villagers will be jealous of us. This greed will take you nowhere. We earn enough and we should be happy with what we have. How can you be happy in this small house? In this cow shed? Oh, the smell of these cows is just too much. But this is our livelihood. Not for long. Mark my words. Uh, someday, I will be the richest man in this whole village. <sighs> Each day, as Henry went to sell milk, the villagers would praise him. Henry, this milk is so good and healthy. You must be taking such good care of your cows. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, I do. But not for long. Once I become rich, I will sell all those cows. I don't like that smell in my house. But these cows are your livelihood. You shouldn't complain about your work. It helps you survive. I sell eggs for a living. That is a smelly job too. But I don't mind it. That's my work. Well, well, well. Then maybe you were meant to sell eggs. But I am meant to do bigger things, to buy expensive items and expensive clothes. This greed will take you nowhere, my friend. The sooner you understand that, the better. Bah! I've wasted enough time here. All the best with your little smelly eggy business. Goodbye. <sighs> Henry was in a hurry to earn more money. He would often try to find a way to become rich. That's it. This is very less. How do I sell more milk? There has to be some way. Mm. My cows are all healthy. I can push them to give us more milk. Also, this is a small village. Even if I get more milk, who will I sell it to? Wait, I can go to the neighboring village. There are many families there. <sighs> but then I will have to buy another cow. And right now, I don't have enough money for that. No, I have to do something. I will buy a bigger house. Let's see. I don't have enough money to buy another cow. But then I have to increase the quantity of milk. How do I do that? As he walked ahead, he came across a river. Finally, overwhelmed with greed, Henry had an idea. How about I mix a little water in the milk? That way, I won't have to buy another cow. At the same time, I will be able to sell milk to the neighboring village. Oh, this is a brilliant idea. Nobody would notice if I had just a little water in it. <laughs> and that's what Henry did. The next morning, Henry began to fill his containers with milk. But this time, he only filled them half and left. He then stopped at the river and added a little water in it. That day, just like always, the villagers happily bought milk from Henry and paid him the same amount. Due to the added water, there was more milk left with Henry, which he sold in the neighboring village. 
that night, Henry was very happy. This is great. If I carry on like this, I will become a very rich soon. He was right. Days passed and Henry was now richer than before. He bought a car for himself and renovated his house. He was so used to adding water to the milk that he didn't think of buying another cow even once. As the demand for milk increased, so did the water in it. This went on for weeks, but then the villagers began to notice. There was chatter in the village about the new watery milk. Wanting to know the truth, a few villagers gathered outside Henry's house. What's the matter? Henry, we have some complaints about the milk you sell. It tastes like water. What? How dare you say that? We pay for milk, Henry, not water. You can't fool us anymore. Nothing has changed. You all cannot appreciate the goodness. I work really hard. Go buy from somewhere else if you don't like it. I don't need you. I have many other villages who love the milk I sell. Henry darted inside the house and slammed the door. The villagers were shocked at Henry's rude behavior. Something isn't right. I agree. We have to find out. They all planned to find out the truth. The next morning, Henry, as usual, walked towards the river. He opened his half-filled containers and filled water in it. But little did he know that he was being watched. How dare he? This is not fair. This is how he is getting richer. He has the same number of cows, and yet he is selling milk to so many families. The villagers understood the whole thing and decided to teach the greedy milkman a lesson. The next day, Gloria went to the market to buy pulses. That night, as Henry came back from work, they both sat down for dinner. Huh? What is that? Did you cook the stones? Stones? No, these are pulses. No, they are not. I don't believe this. The vendor sold you some old stones along with the pulses. How dare he? I will go see him tomorrow. That night, Henry and Gloria went to bed on an empty stomach. Henry angrily went to the vendor the next morning. What did you sell us? We didn't pay for stones. We paid for pulses. Go buy from somewhere else if you don't like it. I don't need you. Henry angrily went back home. After a while, he went out to buy a dozen eggs. When he came back home and tried to break them, he realized that ten of the twelve eggs were rocks. He was furious. What did you sell me? I paid for eggs, not the rocks. The same way that we paid for milk and not water? Go buy from somewhere else if you don't like it. I don't need you. Henry left angrily. The next day, he bought a silk shirt. On his way home, it began to rain. Water washed away all the color of his shirt. When he reached home, he realized the shirt was not made of silk, but of jute. This went on for a few days. Each time Henry went out to buy something, he would come home with something different. I am tired of this. Why can't they sell us the right thing? They are fooling us. This isn't fair. Henry was so busy thinking about himself and his greed that he didn't realize he had done the same thing with others. Over time, even the neighboring villages began to complain. Slowly, everybody stopped buying milk from Henry. With no money left to spend, Henry began to sell off items which he had bought out of selling low-quality milk. Now Henry was a poor milkman. He had only a handful of cows left, 
and only a few houses which he could sell milk. Now you realize what you have done. Your greed is the reason we are poor. Had you continued to sell in good milk the way you used to, we could have bought a bigger house and expensive clothes someday. All you had to do is keep a patience and continue working hard. I agree, Gloria. I should have listened to you. I didn't just lose my money. I also lost respect and trust of the people. <sighs> Henry continued to sell milk and tend to his cows. He knew now how dangerous greed can be. He had learned his lesson. From that day on, he never added water to the milk and stayed happy with what he earned. <laughs>